Thank you very much for coming to Portland and thank you very much for uh, explaining to all the staff just what being a time change employer means. Uh, but for anybody who wasn't there, I'll say it again. Every time and I go to an employer's mm. pledge, you do find, and you find whenever you speak about mm. your mental health or health, mental health issues, that suddenly people start to open up mm. and probably the colleagues sat there today mm. probably didn't know that most of the people that talked about it mm who were listening and on the panel mm. had, had had such significant experiences of mental health. So, you know, we've still got a long way to go till everybody's able to talk about it. And I think, interestingly, there were quite a few conversations about how do you support someone if mm. you're a carer or a loved one or a partner? Mm. And so it's really important people don't feel under pressure to be the fixers, to yeah. be the experts, but to signpost on and not yeah. to have all the answers. Who should we be looking at who does this well? Which big employers do this well? Well, we are saying the people that don't do it well is the NHS, so yeah. do not look at the NHS. Not look at, As an employer. As an employer. Mm. But look at some of the finance companies. The big mm. banks do it really well. And is that because they see the business I think they need. see both the business need and the business case, which mm. is well made across all workforces mm. in terms of the cost of mental ill health. They saw a lot of human tragedy yeah. in the start of the recession yeah. with people taking their lives very in very public spaces and I think that woke them up to just how much their staff were being affected mm. by the downturn but they also woke up to the fact that the staff that are left behind after big redundancies or tragedies like staff suicides are also struggling so yeah. you need to look after yeah. everybody so and how far away are we from where we need to be in terms of people's understanding but also the services that you then need to to match. Certainly not there yet. I think we're in danger of people thinking that we've done the job on stigma mm. and we haven't. Mm. Not everybody in every workforce can talk about it. Mm. Not everybody can seek help. In fact, 6,000 mm. people a year still take their lives. Uh, and certainly on the services front, we haven't got parity of esteem. But employers need to do their bit. Each one of us needs to do our bit. You know, you don't have to be a mental health expert to ask someone how they are. Yeah. All right, Sue, so well, thank you for coming to Portland. Thanks for all your time to change and I'll see you tomorrow at the Stock Exchange.